Good morning everybody, welcome back to another morning with Promise Hope you're feeling blessed this morning. For those that are new to this, this is where we share a short two minute video sharing from the Book of Wisdom, otherwise known as the Book of Proverbs, written by the wisest king that ever lived, King Solomon, who asked God for one thing. He never asked for more money, fame or power when God said to him, ask me anything I'm going to give it to you. Now what he did ask for was more of God's wisdom and more of God's knowledge because he understood that's what it takes to really be successful in this life. So obviously that's why we have the book of Proverbs, so we can share in that wisdom, so we can lead successful lives too. So let's really get into this. For those taking notes, we're reading from chapter 19, verse 13, and it reads this. A quarrelsome wife is like a constant dripping, okay? So Solomon is saying here, if you're a wife right now, if you're someone who is married, if you're someone who's in a relationship, let me talk to you guys too, okay? If you're someone who's always actively looking for an argument, you're just like a constant drip. Okay, like nobody wants to hear the tap dripping all the time because after a while it becomes frustrating. All right. It's that annoying thing that's always in the background. Okay. It's that thing that's not pleasant to hear. Okay. And that's what a quarrelsome partner or quarrelsome wife, let's really talk to wives here, Solomon is, that's what it becomes. Now understand this. All right. If you're a school teacher, you wouldn't set off the day saying, you know what, I'm going to pick faults with everything my pupils do. I'm going to tell them how rubbish they are. I'm going to tell them how noisy they are, how disobedient they are. No, if you're going to be a great teacher, you'd have to encourage them. Okay, that's what gets the best out of them. If you're a boss, you wouldn't go in and go, you know what, every day I'm going to tell my workforce how rubbish they are. Knowing if you did that, you're not going to get the best out of them. So why is it that we get into marriage, and I've seen it, okay, in marriages out there, where all a wife ever does is argue how bad her husband is. All a wife ever does is talk about all the things he doesn't do right. How about stopping for a moment, okay, just for one moment, and saying all the things that he does do right? What about saying all the things that he's done in the past? How much you appreciate him? How much you're grateful for him? How about doing that? Find it, because let me show you something. There is good in each and every one of us, okay? And what happens is, when you get married, it's not a license, okay, to become um, the, the detective for all the things that you do wrong. I'm going to find pick faults in everything you do wrong. Why is that not your job? Your job was meant to be an encourager, a supporter of your husband. And husbands, obviously, this is the same thing, but obviously Solomon's focusing on women here. So my, my encouragement is this. It, wives, if you're out there and you want your marriages to flourish, don't be quarrelsome. Look to be an encourager. Look to be someone who finds the good in their husband. All right? Uh, and I guarantee you'll find the blessings in your marriage and you'll find the blessings in your husbands too. All right. So God bless you. And as we always say with Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. So go out there and be blessed. But more importantly, go and be a blessing. Wise blessing to your husbands. God bless you. Bye bye.